Today, we are going to discuss about one dimensional array in C. We shall see why a programmer needs to use a one dimensional array. We shall look at example problems demanding the use of an array. After that, we shall see what exactly is an array, how memory is allocated for arrays or how the elements of an array is getting stored in the memory. And after that, we can see how one can process the elements of an array. So, let us see what is uh, one dimensional arrays in C. First, we can see the need for such a data object in the C programming language. Let us look at the mathematical object sequence of elements. Many programming problems required to maintain a sequence of elements of the same data type. A sequence means uh, an ordered set of elements. We can see examples. This first is a uh, program to sort a finite sequence of elements in ascending or descending order. Then we have to store the entire sequence of elements in the memory and then we have to rearrange the elements to get a sorted list. Another example is program to maintain the marks obtained by the students in an examination. Maybe we want to find the average largest or later we may have to do some other analysis on the marks obtained. So, we may have to store the marks obtained by all the students in an examination. In this case as well, it is a finite uh, sequence of marks and the C programming language provides a data object namely one dimensional array. 1D array to represent a finite uh, sequence of elements of the same data type. So, you can have a one dimensional array to store a sequence of n floating point values if you want or you can store a sequence of n integers or n characters. So, within an array all the elements must be of the same data type. Now, what exactly is a one dimensional array in the C programming language? We can try to understand with an example. Figure shows an array in C namely d sequence which can store 5 decimal values and the array in the figure shows the values 10, 20, 30, 40 and 50. So, you can depict an array of uh, 5 elements like this. Array elements are accessed by indexing the array. So, you can use indices to access the array. And if there are n elements in an array, then the index is in the closed interval 0 n minus 1. That means, uh, the index starts from 0 and it goes up to n minus 1. In the given figure, the number of elements n is equal to 5 and hence the last index value is 
n minus 1 in this particular case 4 it's because the index starts with 0 in the C programming language if you want to use it from 1 to n that is not allowed because uh, n is not a valid index that we can discuss later when we discuss about pointers. So, the ith element for all the values of i from 0 to n minus 1 of the array can be referred as array name followed by the index i in square brackets. For example, d6 2 means d6, the element of d6 at index 2, which in this particular case is 3, 0. And d6, 0 is 10, likewise it goes. And the take form from this uh, slide is that array is a finite uh, sequence of elements of the same data type. In indices are used to access the individual elements in an array and the index varies from 0 to n minus 1 where n is the number of elements in the array. So, 0 to n minus 1 if you can please remember it the index must start from 0 the first element at 0 and it goes all the way up to n minus 1. Now we can see how memory is allocated for a one dimensional array. Here again we can use an example to understand how is it done. Here is a part of a card which is a function named as foo and the only interesting statement for us now is this declaration statement which tries to declare d sequence d seek as an array of five integers. You don't have to worry about the syntax and semantics of declaration that we shall later formally discuss. Okay, so this is what we are trying to understand what this declaration is doing. From the declaration of basic variable, we know that declaration is used for reserving memory to hold the values and here you can store up to 5 integer values and when you execute this program which contains the function foo, the moment you create an instance of the function foo, when I say creating an instance during the execution, suppose your program is calling the function foo, then dynamically at your runtime an instance of this function will be created in memory and the details of which can be discussed later when we learn about functions in C. Okay, anyway an instance will be created and the moment when an instance is created or you can just consider it as whenever that function is called then a sequence of 10 consecutive memory locations will be allocated to D sequence. And here assumption is that two bytes are required for each, each integer. So in total 5 into 2, 10 bytes of consecutive memory is will be allocated for the data object D sequence. So here is how you can uh, pictorial represent it. In the memory, maybe you are getting a sequence of five elements, each one is two byte length. So this is named as DC. And uh, as we saw in the previous slide, once you create an array with sizes five, then the elements can be accessed, individual elements can be accessed using index values and the value index values are these. 0 to n minus 1 in this particular case 0 to 4. That is uh, 
this is uh, the first element you can access it by d sick 0 let me call it as d sick at 1 d sick at 2 likewise so this is what we already saw in the previous slide so let us uh, proceed and uh, from now onwards in this course for simplicity we shall depict this memory allocation as this. It means you are getting a sequence of five locations, each two bytes, to store five elements of this array. These are indices. And array name in this particular case D6 represents the starting address of the array. So, D6, the value of D6 is nothing but the starting address which is 500. So, if you try to print just D6, you can see the, the starting address of the array. Now, we can see formally what is an array declaration. So, we have to look at the syntax. If you want to create an array, in your program, how can you do it? So, this is the general syntax for declaring a one dimensional array in a C program. So, what are the components? The first is data type. If you are going to create an array of integers, you can say int as the data type. Okay, all the elements must be of the same type, and that data type must be specified as the first part of declaration and followed by the array name. In the previous example, it was D6. Maybe you can use S name like uh, string names or whatever you want. This is just an identifier, which is your array name that you can decide. And this is the data type that you want. And finally, the size which is the number of elements required in the array. Maybe you can specify it as 5 as in the previous example or you can say 100 or say 25, but you have to specify a positive integer constant or a constant expression resulting in a positive integer as the size. Please do not get confused by this statement. What I mean is, you can either just use a positive integer constant like 50 or 100 or 5 or you can also have a constant integer expression. You can say 20 into 2 plus 10 which is again same as saying 50. Then you may ask me why uh, such an expression is allowed. That you can think about and maybe by the uh, end of the course you can tell me why is it allowed. Anyway, you cannot have a variable here, you can just have a constant like this or a constant expression like this. And you can also have a symbolic constant defined like hash defined, size is defined as standard, then you can just say 100, sorry, just say psi. And why such a symbolic definition is required that we will discuss when we discuss uh, more examples about our age. So, this is the declaration syntax for a one dimensional array. So, data type followed by array name, then followed by the size within square bracket. This must be a constant or a constant expression like this. For example, you can say int d seek 100. This is an example. Now, we know how to declare an array in a C program. Now, we want to see how can I access the elements of an array. So, here is the syntax. The first is the array name, which is the declared name of the array. In the declaration statement, whatever name you have given, that is this, followed by a valid index of the array, okay? And the index ranges from 0 to size minus 1, assuming that 
array is declared to be of size this particular size. Okay, if it is 100, then it goes from 0 to 99. That's what I mean. The C language does not provide operators to act on the entire array. There is no single operator like plus or minus, or even print off or something, which can act on the entire array. But what we then, what you can do? Any operation should process elements of an array one at a time. So you first look at the first element, then go to the second element. Likewise, you can do. So in a systematic manner, maybe you can go from left to right or right to left, that is up to you. But at a time, you can only process a single element, that's by indexing the array. Maybe we can look at how you will do it. Consider our example, we have a decimal array of size 5 and suppose these are the elements. So there is no single operator to process the entire array of 5 elements, but you can process it one at a time. You say that the index value is 0, then D sequence at 0 is now 10. The next element is 20, this is at index 1 then 30 at index 2, 40 at index 3, and 50 at index 4. So this is the most typical way of accessing a single dimensional array in the C programming language. You start from 0, you go all the way up to n minus 1. You may ask me why, why, sh uh, why don't I go from 4 to 0? That also is possible, but this is the usual way, okay. Now, this is what is called sequencing through the array. Starting from the first index, go through all the elements and uh, you do whatever operation you want to perform on the elements. And which is what is called sequencing through a single dimensional array and which can be implemented by the while loop. We have not discussed the for loop and that is why we are using our while loop for this purpose. So the first index, let us say i is the index, index must be 0 for the first time and you can say while the index value is less than 5, while it is 0 or 1 or 2 or 3 or 4, what do you do? You access your array, array at index i. Maybe you can print it or you can read to it or you can modify it, or you can copy this into some other variable, or you can process it in whatever way you want. So, this is a very uh, generic syntax for processing this array. And in general, uh, this is what is happening. I goes from 0 to n minus 1 all the way, and if i is here, then the value is 30. And in general, we can say here, it is the number of elements in the array. In this example, the number of elements is 5 and so i is less than 5. Repeat until i becomes 4. Okay, and in general it is n. So with this, uh, we are finishing this lecture and today we have looked at single dimensional arrays in C. They are data objects allowing a programmer to call a group of, a finite group of elements of the same data type. So remember, all the elements in the array must be of the same data type. You cannot have an array where the first element is uh, integer, second element is character, like that. All the elements must be of the same data type. And also we, so that C doesn't allow a single operator for processing an entire array. You have to sequence through the elements of the array one at a time. And for that, we are using index value. 
and if there are n elements in the array then the index value moves from 0 to n minus 1 so in the next class uh, we can see example processing in single dimensional array thank you